So Robin, let's let's go online as we're doing here and take a look at uh, the over 3,000 drawings uh, from the undergraduate program in Victory to Learn. We've um, the idea is to take a look at how we can use this tool as uh, look, developing it for visual discourse analysis. So in our cabinet, you see we could select a topic, and there are quite a number of disciplines involved here. I see, yeah. So you have topics from chemistry, biology, and physics. Yep, all over the place. Great. And the idea was the teacher said, draw uh, such and such, uh, to explaining these various phenomena as if you were explaining to a high school student. So... Let's uh, go to let's go to Brownie, Brownie in Motion. Take a look at the drawings on that. That's a good topic to choose. Yeah, it's, uh, something that's taught in high school chemistry. So that's a good yeah, one. yeah, and you could see that you can kind of go through all these drawings in thumbnail, and you see the mm -hmm. pile is yeah. changing. Oh, very clever! Being very clever. Ah, here's one. Let's look at this one. Let's okay. let's enlarge this. Oh. This one looks really fabulous and clever, and you know, it, bumper it took, cars, right. very good. And we can imagine the you know, cr it's incredibly creative. And here you're able to uh, see right away the the, the uh, question, draw as if explaining how the motions of large and small particles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we could get course information where what was given the professors. We can find the rubric, which is how this was graded, and that's actually pretty important. And we can see what the misconception... Every drawing of all those 3,000 has this in here. I see. So the, this information that you're um, revealing here is the information on this particular drawing, but you've done this sort of analysis on every one of the exactly. 3,000 Exactly. Drawings. And you can imagine... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, right. Yeah. And he, we were even interested in the style of representation. Mm. Does that have any sort of connection to how many misconceptions mm -hmm. there were? That's what that will be part of the visual discourse analysis. And does the metaphor uh, uh, is is there a certain metaphor that certain cultures use, for example? Uh, all these kinds of questions, I think, could be uh, addressed. So this particular one uh, was problematic. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there are reasons for it. For example, although it's very clever, uh, it did not include the role of fluid, which is very important. It, it did not show the mo particular random motion. You don't see that in the drawing. Oh, yes. And you also don't see that the, the particle sizes vary. Those are uh, very, those are important. Right, so all the bumper cars are the same size. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, and yeah. so it do, it's not quite right. But very interesting. And the thing that we would love, we could enlarge this, by the way, uh, in what sometimes that the, the drawings... Oh, uh, that's better. Yeah. yeah. Really. See the whole thing, yeah. So the particles are the same mm. size, and no the fluid. That's right. The fluid is a really important. The, you yeah. know what the particles are right. in, whether it's a gas or a fluid. It's pretty important, and uh, you know, and and what you know, what we could imagine, we could imagine students and teachers looking at these particular drawings and say, "What's wrong with this picture?" Great question to ask. Exactly, right? and that can cultivate all kinds of conversations. And in the end, what we'd like to do is create a library of these metaphors and, and the discussion around right. the metaphors. So we could, we could close our, uh, we could return to our cabinet, you see, and we could <laughs> select all kinds of other topics. But uh, what is also pretty important, did we filter? Did we do no, that? let's no, do we, that. Okay, let, okay, I forgot. So you can filter the drawings. And this is, again, for the uh, faculty, this could be a very powerful tool where you can see all of the particular drawings. These are 110. Uh -huh. These are all the images. Yeah. And then you could see um, those that uh, what we considered creative. I see. And that imme immediately, there are 11 of I those. See. And we could go, th those. that's the one that we looked at before. And, oh, yeah, this is historical. Of course, I... <laughs> Britney Spears. Oh, funny. Yeah, and goodness knows what all this means. I have to really take a look at it. But this student, <laughs> it, it, it looks like the only problem they had was that they didn't include the basic terminology. We can enlarge that and 
Wow. One night a dazed and confused. Well, you know, it it could be great fun to, yes, to go through I this see. and figure. But this Very is definitely definitely uh, age appropriate. I don't think I would have used this as a metaphor. Would you? No, no I don't, think, I don't so. think so. Okay. So anyway, that's really um, a very powerful tool that we uh, imagine. Uh, so, for instance, a teacher could go in here and look on a particular topic and just look at the student drawings that evidenced a misconception. Absolutely. So that they would sort of be, you know, prepared as they went into class about a range of possible misconceptions mm. that they might encounter on a given topic. It, absolutely, that's it. And they can perhaps track their drawings over the years and to see if their teaching has changed. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And if the students are still making the same the mistakes. same mistakes, wow! So it, it, in a way, it's it's a a, a quiet uh, teacher assessment tool, right. a self evaluation right. assessment tool. Powerful. So that's that, and I think we have something fun going on besides it being powerful.